A strong field of nine three-year-old pacing fillies for the second division of the Glen Garnsey Memorial. Lined up behind the gate, number seven, Cathedra.com. Grand Circuit winner in the Bluegrass Series a week ago here at Lexington as they head toward the start. And they're off. Threads of life away quickly. Eraser Hanover comes barreling out of there from the outside. Also away well as BJ Squall and Lady McBeach angles over behind the three-way duel. She's dropped in on the inside from fourth. Miss Jackie comes away in fifth. Access Hollywood gapped a bit early. Miss Jackie bearing in there on the turn. So Electrical Art is seventh, and she's a long way from the early lead. Also behind her is Cathedra.com, and at the back of the pack is Besta Verde, who trails the field as they head past the opening quarter in a sharp 27-1, and one. and Eraser Hanover from the outside post is now two and a half lengths clear. Threads of Life is chasing in the pocket from second. BJ Squall third, Lady McBeach with the first tier and fourth. Still gap slightly as Miss Jackie is following along in fifth. Access Hollywood is sixth. The Electrical Art trying to flush some cover. Cathedra.com waiting for the cover flow to develop. She's eighth on the outside stock right now. And up to her inside, Best of Verde gains a spot into eighth position. Lady McBeach is wheeled out from fourth as they hit the half in 55 and two. So it's Eraser Hanover, two lengths in front. Threads of Life racing in second. Lady McBeach coming quickly on the outside. She's now second just off the leader's wheel with three eights to go. Miss Jackie is following her. She's up second over now. Trapped in on the inside fifth is BJ Squall. Third over but gapping cover. Access Hollywood. Cathedra.com is stuck fifth over and fourth over in front of her. Electrical Art now comes three wide. They'll try to sweep the field from the back as they hit three quarters in one, 24 and three and come to the top of the stretch. Lady Mac Beach on the outside has forged her way to a short lead. Up on the outside, Electrical Art is closing. Miss Jackie for the gray from between horses. Cathedra.com on the far outside. It's Lady McBeach. Miss Jackie trying to get to her. Up on the outside, Electrical Art. Miss Jackie has taken the lead, and Miss Jackie has pulled off the upset here. Lady McBeach was second, Electrical Art third, 153 flat. to the winner's circle, number five, Miss Jackie, three-year-old gray filly by Jenna's Beach Boy out of the Jate Low Bell Mare Waterwell, all by James Smith of Ontario. The trainer is Sean Robinson, and Mike Lachance is in the sulky. Miss Jackie picking up her fifth career victory. This mile, a career best effort, 153, to take the second division of the Glen Garnsey Memorial for the three-year-old pacing filly. Glenn Garnsey's historic career detailed in today's racing program. He, of course, was a fixture here at the Red Mile in Lexington, Kentucky, private trainer for many years for Castleton Farm. And with his public stable trained for some of the biggest names in the business, including the Armstrong brothers and Dr. Glenn Brown, who will be trackside to make the Glenn Garnsey Memorial Trophy presentation, along with Tom Crouch's Kentucky Anna Farms. Glenn Garnsey, the consummate horseman, Excellent with pacers, excellent with trotters, and excellent with people. And this year at the Red Mile, we've renamed the three-year-old Philly Pace International Stallion Stakes, the Glen Garnsey Memorial, and Miss Jackie has won this division in 153 flat. Also trackside from Armstrong Brothers, Dr. Moira Gunn to make the trophy presentation to the winning connections. And of course, Mike Lachance in the spotlight once again tomorrow at the Red Mile. He'll drive Better's Delight as he and Real Desire continue their rivalry in the final race of the season, the Tattersall's Pace for over $400,000. 468.15.60. The Superfecta 5467-4575 and 60.